Hello and welcome to my course on Milwaukee Battery Repair. I've been repairing these for a couple of years and I'm going to show you some of the diagnostic and repair techniques I've picked up along the way. So if you have a few faulty batteries or just want a greater knowledge of battery technology, specifically Milwaukee in this case, this course is for you. So episode one, getting started. This is your Milwaukee M18 battery and I'm going to show you the equipment that you need just to get started just to test your battery to see what and where the fault does first item you need before anything more important than anything probably is your voltmeter a multimeter with a voltage setting on it a DC voltage I might add that's number one number two a T10 torque screwdriver or something you can put into your, your drill or cordless screwdriver it has to have that let's see it has to have that hole in the center to suit the screws that are in this there's that and a little ordinary flat screwdriver this one's been through the wires but it's good enough for what we're going to use it for and I'll explain that later so I have this fairly new Milwaukee M18 battery. I'm going to show you how to test the voltage coming out of it. That's the first thing you do whenever you have a battery and you want to test it. You put the negative, the black one on there, and the red one onto the positive, and you set your voltmeter to DC voltage. And that shows me that I've got 18.57 volts coming out of this battery which is perfectly fine for a three bar battery. These batteries can achieve over 20 volts when fully charged. So disconnected the meter for now. I'm gonna show you what else you do. If your voltage is less than favorable, I mean 15 volts or below, then you gotta really get into the battery and see what's going on inside. And to do that, you need the, the T10 torque screwdriver to take out these screws. Or if you're in a hurry, you can use the one that goes on your cordless drill or screwdriver. But be careful, you can nip off these screws if you're too vigorous or if they're setting too high. Especially when you're screwing them on again. So with the T10 screws slackened, we just take the top off this battery. And we reveal the circuit board and all the connections going to the circuit board. And... The next test we do at the top of the battery we check those those connections to see if they're those spot welds can actually give way but these are fine and there's those solder points look okay as well so that's your first inspection and that's why you need this also pulling the battery out of the box to get it completely out the same purpose you can sort of check all those very lightly if there any disconnection along the side there which there isn't because this is a new each battery you know and yeah so that's what you do with this your next step if you've Confirmed that all the connections are perfect. You check all the cell banks. That's these five banks of two along the side. You check them along the side there. So the easiest way probably is to go this way. From plus to minus each side. Four point one three. 4 4.13 4.13 4.13 4.13 4.13 So what we have here is a perfectly balanced pack There's very little cell imbalance So the banks are not only high But they're all equal If all the banks are equal You have a good battery and if they're above 3.6 and equal, you definitely have a good battery. 
if they're below that it may need some attention but we'll cover that in other courses so that's how you test your battery and that's the end of episode one of this battery repair tutorial course